Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know when my videos come out. And please subscribe. By you subscribing to my channel, it shows me that you appreciate what I'm doing. And I thank you all for doing that. And I hope that you will continue to do that. Okay. So today we're checking to see why my car has a problem with the heat on one side and not on the other side. So I have my mechanic friend Davey here and he's going to go over the possible uh, reasons why. Okay, take it away Davey. Hey, how you doing there everybody? Okay, now listen to what we're going to check to see why this is happening. Now, first thing we're going to do is with the car running, we are going to check to see if the, you know if the car is airbound so let's turn on the uh, the vehicle okay need to keep up okay sorry so we turn the vehicle on okay now, you let the car run a little while, but the car was running prior, so it should be okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do, you have these two lines here. You want to see if they're equally as hot. If one is colder than the other, that means that it could, in fact, be airborne. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the radiator cap, like so. We're going to let the car run, and if there, if there is any air bomb, it'll come up through here. So you keep an eye on it for, I'd say about 10 minutes or so. Okay, now we're going to look for other causes and things it could be. Okay, now... It is, in fact, possible that you may have a clogged cabin filter. That will also possibly cause a problem. Very simple, check it out. What you do is you open up the glove compartment. There are two clips on the side here. You push them in, and this door comes down. And you have two filters. You pull them out, you inspect them, you see if they're dirty. If they're dirty, you know, of course, you know, you, you need to replace them. That's a possible cause. The most likely cause of this problem, there is something called a blender. When you turn on the heat, the doors open and allow the hot air to get into you know the, the car into the system if the switch is broken if the switch uh, is stuck or if it's plain no good it will affect it because what happens is when you turn the switch on the doors open up like so and allow the hot air to get into the car. Now, if you follow me around here, <clears throat> if you look under here, this is where that is. Not sure of the cost, but I don't think it's very expensive. And I think it's relatively pretty easy to put in. I think it's only like uh, two to four bolts and a uh, quick connect wiring harness. That and that's pretty much it to put it in. Okay, now. If you look over here, you see the air bubbles coming up, which tells you that there is a possibility that it could be airbound. Let the car run for a good, oh, I'd say 10 to 15 minutes, 
to make sure all of the air bubbles are out of there and then of course you put back on on your cap. A warning, when you are doing this, when the car is hot, make sure the car is cool before you take the cap off or you could wind up with a face full of really hot antifreeze. Trust me ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to be hit with that. It hurts like heck. Okay. Now, after we find out what the problem is, we are going to be doing another video to show what the problem was in fact. I will see you again in the next video. God bless you all. And I will be talking to you guys again soon. Please subscribe and please hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos.